Pandemics, like the current coronavirus crisis, can cause a lot of stress and anxiety in children of all ages. There are a number of things that parents can do to manage their own and their children's anxiety. Stay informed about the latest advice and follow it. Use a reliable source of information to get this advice, like the Department of Health website or the Coronavirus Health Information Line. Talk to your children about what is happening. Ask them what they've heard about the coronavirus and encourage them to share their concerns. Support young children to express how they feel through play, activities or storytelling. Young children may demonstrate their anxiety through their play by having more temper tantrums, being clingy or showing some regression in their skills. Older children, on the other hand, may develop changes in sleep and appetite, have nightmares, become angry, oppositional and more aggressive than usual. Or they may become more withdrawn and lose interest in school and other activities and not perform as well as they previously had. For all children, it's important to listen to their concerns, encourage them to let you know how they are feeling and be tolerant of any temporary changes in their behaviour, whilst at the same time setting limits around safety and harmful behaviours. Correct any misunderstandings they may have and emphasise efforts that are being taken to contain the virus. Research shows that the way parents behave and how they manage their own anxiety and stress can have a significant effect on children. So model good stress management Keep conversations calm and focused on the facts and follow a good diet and exercise plan to show children that you're taking care of yourself. Model health promoting behaviours for your children, like regular hand washing, coughing into your elbow, appropriate use of tissues and so on. Get children involved in routine chores and keep to the same daily routines as much as possible to promote a sense of security. Encourage children to stay in touch with their friends through telephone, internet games and other means. But limit media and social media activity that is focused on the coronavirus. If children exhibit ongoing changes in their behaviour, sleep and appetite, have ongoing nightmares or show signs of ongoing distress, it's important to speak to your GP and seek a referral to a counsellor.